Hi Pisces, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your May general love tower reading for Pisces Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate for you. You can always check your other signs to try to get a broader picture of what's going on in your love life during this time. If you guys would like to get a personal reading from me, all the links are in the description box below. If you do request one directly through PayPal, please make sure to send me an email with your questions and what it is that you would like to know. So you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You can friend request me there. And uh, you can also contact me on the Instant Go app to just get a quick answer to a question you might have. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card from the Angel Oracle deck to see what your overall energy is for love for May 2018. So you have the flirt card, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So definitely um, take on that energy. <laughs> I don't know, some of you are like, I'm married, I'm not flirting, but this doesn't necessarily mean romantically. Um, but I will read from the book what it says that the angels guide you to initiate romance with flirtatiousness, which entails smiling with your eyes as you connect with others. It doesn't necessarily involve sexuality, although it can. Flirting is playful in nature, and playfulness is the heart of romance. If you're in a relationship, flirting with your partner can revive passion. If you're single, this activity can attract new friendships as well as a love relationship. Drawing this card can simply mean that making more eye contact with others will help you connect with people. This is especially true if you smile and say hello more often. Everyone you meet is a potential friend, and studies show that most people are introduced to their mates through mutual acquaintances. Therefore, form new friendships, both as a way of meeting your new partner and or to increase your enjoyment of life. Okay, so basically, Pisces, you need to be more flirtatious in this month of May. And especially if you are single and you're looking to meet others, uh, definitely that's gonna get you some attention. Or it, again, if you are with someone flirting with your partner. So your past position, you have the Six of Cups. And you know, the message that I was getting from this card is that you guys have been manifesting in in the past, however long ago, uh, you've had this, I feel like you've been sending wishes out, manifesting for someone from your past to come back to you. Um, because the Six of Cups, you know, can represent having, um, you know, that nostalgia type energy innocence, gifts, reunions, friendships. You may have you may re have reconnected with someone from your past recently or in, in the um, late past. But I was feeling strongly like even even if it was just yesterday or uh, someone may have come back into your life from your past, even just yesterday or this past week or over the weekend or the past month or at any time frame or you uh, were very nostalgic not too long ago about someone from your past. Someone who perhaps there was a delay in having something new. Some of you, um, maybe there was a letdown or feeling depressed and that could be accompanying that energy of someone that maybe you have been thinking about from your past. Um, that you had felt let down by before, but still reminiscing about them. Or, you know, that sense of feeling, feeling disappointed about a past relationship. This is the present here. So this, as I was saying, this, this could have been anything from this point right now as you're listening to the video back. So you pick the time frame. Um, but this is definitely someone from 
that you have known for quite some time or you've known for a while and maybe it was unrequited love someone that maybe you had feelings for and they didn't have those feelings in exchange but for some reason you were thinking about them still you're moving to the present with the king of swords so this could have something to do with an air sign Aquarius Libra or Gemini this person is very powerful and intentional in their um, their movements in the things that they say they're quick acting they're a leader with their their mind they're very cerebral they're not overly emotional at all it's not that they don't have emotions but they express them through the tongue through their mouth the things that they say um, and this person will be significant for you perhaps currently or sometime the first week or two of May the eight of swords though is crossing this person this person I feel like has some mental issues or something that goes on with them that's an obstacle and this could be that person from the past that maybe you reconnected with them and are presently speaking to them now or engaged or involved with them at some some degrees could be this could be a spouse that you knew when you were younger and you're missing how there used to be so much love between you something's going on with this person with this eight of swords um, you know they are isolating themselves isolating their emotions they're restricted uh, some of them might even be in jail right now or they're that self-imposed prisoner it's really a difficult situation it's a challenge for this person um, to break free from this even though it's funny with this card even though they they can it's very easy you know just they have these red ribbons wrapped around them but it's not like they can't walk still their feet can still move this person I feel like because of whatever is going on in the brain or whatever's going on with them mentally is not willing to take a look at their if they have some type of a mental issue they're not willing to take a look at this it's a challenge for them to see the truth about themselves which is interesting because the king of swords is very truth-telling very truthful type of a person you know it's like they know though but they deny it there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with me there's nothing wrong you know or they're trapped somehow somewhere like I said in prison it, this this relationship cannot be for whatever reason the situation and this could be someone from your past who you have been thinking about and this is currently where they are if you're single and you're not with this person you know or some of you could be single or, and, and been just still missing that love that you you know that unrequited love that you had hoped you could have someday and this king of swords person just shows up but there's something not right about this person they are dealing with they either have low self-esteem or they're depressed something's definitely going on with them you've got the ace of wands which is driving you at this time and the, the purpose for this reason for this reading so I see you you have this urge to have something new in your life something full of passion creativity oh love some of you are dying for sex <laughs> if you haven't had any but not just the quick sex quickie it, some of you are dying for that passionate longing for that passionate sex and love and maybe it's with that person and that person can't do that for you or give that to you 
And I just see you kind of like working with this anyway. You know, you're working with them anyway. It's like you're you're just kind of sticking around anyway. You're putting in the effort to stick around. Or at least if this is someone new that comes in, you're putting in the effort anyway because you want this. You're trying to reach them. You might be trying to help them. So the Eight of Cups. This is a temporary separation with this person. I feel like there will be a return, but there is, you know, this retreat. And that's probably maybe what's stimulating you to want to move forward or to have this with this particular person. There's something, you can't reach them emotionally, but you're willing to work with them. You're willing to stick around to try to, you know, get that emotional fulfillment that you're looking for. I don't see you giving up with them or giving up on them. I'm not telling you whether you should or not. I didn't even get to your advice card yet, but I don't I don't see I feel like this your thought process is, you know, they're he, even though they're not here, they're still here, whether that's physically, mentally or emotionally. Uh, you still feel that they're with you. You don't want this situation to come crashing down around you. You don't want this situation to just, you know, you don't want to be upended. You don't want this to go into ruin. I, you're so supportive of this person right now. There's something about them that you connected with in the past that you're still holding on to or you're still remembering about them even though you're not with them right now because they've got as I was saying stuff going on it's like you're not giving up on that person even though you know that it could come crashing down you're trying to prevent that from happening so you're, the nine of wands is in your near future so you're patiently waiting you're, you're taking a step back you're regrouping you're trying to figure out you so look it's kind of like you're mirroring this person because look this is your person the eight of swords you know they have all those swords around them and here's you the nine of wands you have all these wands around yourself it's almost as if you're empathetic to what's going on around them and you're going to I see you in the near future stay that way be supportive with them oh my gosh and now the ten of swords we go from the eight and the nine to the ten and the ten of swords this is a card about a complete painful ending rock bottom back problems I think I feel like even though you're going to stay with them you're, you're kind of like probably coming to the end here or maybe contemplating you might be contemplating whether you are going to keep doing this you know asking yourself if you can because your advice you've got the nine of swords we go the eight of swords the nine of swords the ten of swords so your advice is like, here you are thinking this is stressing you out at night. I'm going to clarify more of that. But I do feel that even though you're supporting this person and you, or you have been for a long time or you've been as understanding and empathetic as you can with the, whatever they're going through, or whatever their situation is, because you don't want to give up on this love. It's like you almost had it here. This is delayed. Even if this is just a friendship, whatever it could be, you you know what you know you're reading. I see that you are contemplating putting an end to this, okay? Because it is stressing you out. 
because you're not sleeping well at night, because it's causing you anxiety, because you're human. The lovers in the reverse. So your advice really is to not make a decision just yet about this situation. Maybe not fully, not in its totality. You're not connecting right now. And if you decide to put an end to this, I mean, if you actually do it, I feel you'll regret this. I'm not saying don't put an end to it because you'll regret it. I'm telling you that you will feel like you might regret. And that could be because you're just not 100% sure. That's why you have this card here because here she is. She's sitting on her rock there. She's been to battle. She's been fighting. And now she's not sure what to do. She's contemplating because the card after this would be the Ten of Wands where that's like completion of a, of a burden. So you're not quite there yet. But you want to put an end to the mental betrayal or the mental stress that you are feeling or, you know, that's, that's affecting you physically and emotionally. You know, you're, you're, you're probably coming to the bottom here, like, you know, hitting the bottom of, of hitting the ocean floor here. Like there's nowhere else to go but up. So the advice is, you know, you know, here you are stressing about whether or not you should end this. Thinking about ending it. So you're, you your advice is to maybe not make that decision just yet. There's something else you need to, something else that needs to come forward for you. This other person, they have the wheel of fortune. Things are going to get better for them. Things will be in their favor. It's currently in May, things will start to turn. The wheel will start to turn for them. Huge turning point. Maybe this person got locked up for gambling or fraud or um, stealing f uh, a good bit of money or something, jewels, something. Did something when they were abroad maybe and, and traveling got them into some trouble. Um, maybe they got locked up for non-payment of child support, but money's coming to them. Change is coming to them. A huge turning point. It's going to set things. It's going to be a little bit difficult, this change that's happening to them. Things are going to be a little bit off balance. There's disruptive energy. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's negative. It's just that whatever was currently happening, if their current situation is negative, there's going to be a disruption in that, which would then turn it positive. And since the Wheel of Fortune is here, I feel that that's good luck is coming to this person. what this person has known for so long, what has kept them trapped or what has been happening to them is going to start to change or will, will change, start changing in May. New things will begin to manifest in this person's life and this is going to begin to affect you, but in a positive way, okay? And that might be why you, you can't make this decision this person is going to start turning negatives into positives. And that's not why you can't. That might be why you need to wait a little bit longer before making the decision with this person. So 
in the position of your hopes and fears, you have the King of Pentacles. So if this person owes you money, you're hoping. <laughs> I always see the King of Pentacles as someone who's like rich. Do you know what I mean? Like um, someone who's solid, practical, with material success. So I feel like if you, you're you hoping that this person is going to get, this is also a card of, of um, someone who's stable. This is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, so, you know, some of you could be dealing with earth sign or you could be dealing with air. Either way, um, this is what you're hoping for, that they actually get it together. This person could have been gotten into some trouble with drugs or alcohol or something might have happened. I'm seeing addictions here. I'm seeing... Um, some kind of trouble with that. You know, but I feel like you, you're you also too fearing. They, this person might come into a lot of money. It's going to change a lot of things. But I'm also feeling there's a fear that this person will be, just become so materialistic that, you know, they'll get themselves into trouble. Your outcome, you have the Ten of Cups here. So... That's a great card to have for an outcome. If, if some of you have a baby or a marriage with children, I feel like that you and this person are going, like you can't be separated no matter what happens. I mean, the devil is here. The two of you are just, look, like you... Uh, the devil card and the lover's card are very similar and I it doesn't show in this deck but let me see if I could find it here in my Rider Waite deck. I know a lot of you know because you've been watching tarot card readings. You know the cards. Um, but the Rider Waite deck, the devil card is two people just like here but they stand free Okay, but the devil card is where they are chained to each other. Like, n no matter what they do, they just can't seem to be away from each other. There could be some kind of like an addictive quality to this relationship. Could be codependency, um, something along those lines. I just don't see y you and the other person separating. I don't see it ending. I just... I just see a lot of stress and frustration to be, see, to be involved in this connection. You know, she thinks very positively. And he just kind of like, he's always on fire about things. He might have some anger issues and she just tries to fortify him, support him, him or her, whichever one is more supportive. The other one is just always doing stuff or, you know, I feel like it's, it's the male in this connection who is the one who gets stirred up easily by this devil energy and you if you're female are just kind of chained there too but you have a much different perspective and outlook on him and on this relationship and you know even if you're a male listening you're um you get fired up very easily as well but again i just see this connection here i don't see it being broken I'm going to clarify these. Maybe because it's a family or there's a ch or there's children involved. There might be some control happening that happens. This person might be very controlling for you. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so I don't know. There's going to be a lot of communication between the two of you. Neither one of you is ready to let the other one go. One person in this relationship 
is very truthful and very honest and always watching the other. And the other person in this relationship can be very patient, both immature, <laughs> but the other person is very patient and always trying to make money. It's very interesting and kind of weird <laughs> the way this reading's coming out. But again, I just see, honestly, Pisces, I just don't see you giving up. I feel like you've been holding on to someone for a really long time, deep in your heart. And even if you're not currently with that person, um, I feel like you will just keep giving off your energy and staying involved with this person in some way, somehow. It, even even for those of you who are dealing with someone who is imprisoned, um, there's a lot of messages that will continue to go back and forth between the two of you. And these messages will be about money. There will be a lot of communication about major changes that are happening, but it's I'm not seeing anything ending here. Okay, Pisces, so I'm going to end your reading there. Check the description box below if you would like a personal reading from me. And I will see you guys in June. All right, take care. Bye.